we know many of you Chiefs fans will be driving towards St. Joseph for a Chiefs training camp. So get ready to rev up your appetite, KC, because as a voice for everyone, I mapped out some of the best bites from KC to St. Joseph along I-29. Once they give us a try, we usually see them again. Less than a five minute drive from KCI right off I-29 Scott's Kitchen. So these are our burn ins. An award winning traditional barbecue joint and a top spot for Chiefs Kingdom. Every year it's gotten a little bit better in terms of seeing more and more red and gold uh, coming through the restaurant when the Chiefs are in St. Joe. From burnt and smothered in their own barbecue sauce, mouth watering barbecue tacos with a savory twist, juicy fall off the bone ribs that are finger licking good and their sweet cherry lemonade with a side of watermelon topped with their own rub. Scott's Kitchen has it all and lucky for you they are open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. We feel pressure every day, every plate. As you continue to make your way up north, expect delays as road work continues along I-29 towards St. Joseph. But instead of waiting, you can refuel for the journey ahead and stop at Fetterman's in Platte City. Have a great rest of your day, Matt. We'll call you soon. Appreciate it. So when people place the orders, you don't get a number, you get a name because it's a way for us to connect to the to our customers and connect to the community. Known for their rich Rubens and sizzling Philly cheesesteaks, this popular deli spot is filled with premium meats and cheeses and your favorite Casey must-haves like Betty Ray's and Messenger coffee and ice cream sandwiches tipping the scales at nearly one pound. The reason I chose our local items is because Kansas Cityans, uh, they flock to local. They love local more than any other city. And just like Scott's Kitchen, this family-owned restaurant is also open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and has become a popular routine stop for Chiefs fans across the nation. Last year, I remember we had people from Arkansas. You wouldn't have a family that came from Texas that drove up here uh, just for Chiefs training camp, just for the day. Mm. So both shops are locally owned, as you guys saw them. Yeah. And Fetterman's is off I-29 right now. It's seeing major construction along yeah. that exit that you typically get to, but it's only a three-minute detour when you go from I-29 from Kansas City. So it's a great spot and easy, quick, ready to go. And Scott's, I mean, no comment. They're just amazing right now. I'm still drooling at the the, the shoot that we had with them. It was amazing. I just, I like, I foresee people being on the way there. They're not, we got to get there. Like if there's dads running the place, like oh, we got to get there at a certain time, beat the line, get all the stuff. We're going to have things mapped out, but it's on that way back where you're hot and you're tired. Yeah. Yes. I want to sit I will for say a few minutes. If you just want to get on the road, Fetterman says breakfast and they open at seven. They right? open at seven. So they're opening up in a couple of minutes. And then also Scott's kitchen is open for breakfast too. And she was asking me, she's like, where should people stop? I recommended Scott's because it's a Northland gem, longtime favorite delicious. And I started following Fetterman's like six months ago on Instagram because they sell Betty Ray's ice cream. And I was like, Looks wait. <laughs> And it looks oh delicious. And homemade cookies too.